The National Petroleum Authority has addressed the Africa Center for Energy Policy's concerns regarding its proposal to introduce a price floor for petroleum products on April 16, 2024. The NPA earlier announced its decision as part of the new pricing guidelines for oil marketing companies and other industry players. ASAP argued, among other reasons, that this move is unlawful since it exceeds the scope of the NPA's mission. However, in a subsequent press release, NPA stressed that the price floor will not have an impact on competition between OMCs and others in the energy sector, nor will it impose high consumer costs as ASAP and other stakeholders fear. The electricity company of Ghana has swiftly addressed allegations raised by the Ghana Grid Company concerning ECG's purported failure to comply with load management instructions. Gridco expressed concerns in the letter dated March 28, 2024, suggesting that ECG's action could disrupt the country's power generation. ECG, while reaffirming its commitment to cooperation with Gridco, disputed the allegations, highlighting discrepancies in the timing and adequacy of load management directive received. ECG provided statistics showing instances where directives were issued shortly before peak or off-peak periods, limiting ECG's ability to plan and inform customers effectively. Morocco's diesel and petrol imports fell significantly in 2023, totaling around $5.1 billion, a 21.5% fall from the previous year. According to a study from the country's competition council, the fall in imports last year was mostly caused by a decreasing trend in worldwide refined gasoline prices, with diesel, the primary fuel imported into Morocco, receiving the worst hits. This positive chain directly impacts consumers, as the total cost of fuel imports, excluding taxes, also fell by a substantial 21% from 2022 to 2023. The European Commission has authorized a 350 million euros German initiative to stimulate the generation of renewable hydrogen via the European Hydrogen Bank's auction as a service technology. The approved program will help build up to 90 megawatts of electrolysis capacity and is estimated to encourage the generation of up to 75,000 tons of renewable hydrogen. The aid will be provided through a competitive bidding procedure overseen by the European Climate Infrastructure and Environment Executive Agency, and it will be accessible to enterprises looking to build new electrolyzers in Germany. The aid will be in the form of a direct grant per kilogram of renewable hydrogen generated with a maximum term of 10 years. Visit EnergyGanaMagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airpods View with Hill. Energy Manager. Local in focus, global in perspective.